We touched earlier on Whitney Houston, who was a friend of yours, and you've been quite candid about trying to help her. Mm. You rang her or felt compelled to ring her on the night that Michael Jackson died because they were similar age, similar kind of problems. You realize she may be going through turmoil over that news. Tell me about that. It was, um, and and I haven't talked about it publicly, actually. I'm surprised that you know that. How do you know that? I know everything, Tyler. I... I, uh, I called her that night, and I've been trying to get her all day, and I called her that night, and she had uh, Donny Hathaway song, a song for you blasted in the background. I'm surprised she could hear me, and we talked for a while, and she was really broken up by his death, and I didn't know if she was thinking about her herself, but I was trying very desperately to get her to let me come over to the house and, and just sit with her to make sure she was okay. And uh, Whitney, in true fashion, <laughs> you know, after me trying for about five, ten different times, she said, listen, I'm a mother. And uh, I'm a woman, and I'm single, and you're not coming over to my house in the middle of the night, you know, so in, that, in the way that only she could. But it, it's, it's beyond tragic, and I was so disgusted. I must tell you, I was so disgusted at the media and the way that they handled her death. It was, it was so blatantly disrespectful, the paparazzi. See, this is what I mean about fame, and even in death, trying to get her, just her body from the the more to the plane because you supplied the plane didn't you yeah, I, I did plane. I did and there's there was um, this was it was beyond awful I tell you there was we we tried to send a hearse as a decoy they found out we had the body in a van and there are paparazzi fifty deep following the van we I have them move the plane into the hangar and close the door bring the bring the van in and one person one of the hired drivers is trying to take pictures of them putting her body on the plane it was just beyond disrespectful for her family and everyone else and I understand she was a superstar but she didn't deserve to be treated that way in the media toward the end you know and they asked me to come down to the Beverly Hilton and walking into that hotel room and seeing it, it was so bizarre. I, I think, I'm thinking these people cannot know that she has died. There's a party going on. This can't be true. It can't be real. It was so surreal. I go upstairs to the floor, and her family's there. Uh, they're all in tears. And I'm in the room with them, and, and the coroners and the police are three doors down from where we are. And I'm looking at the water on the table as the family's breaking down. It's vibrating from the base below. I just think, what is this? Mm-hmm. What is this that this woman's life... It's not worth a moment of silence.